Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we have a special mission, and this will probably be an ongoing mission. Behold, the jet rocket. Of course, this is actually an expansion upon an idea I've already worked on many months ago. But, uh, <laughs> This is a monster of a craft. Looking at a multifunctional vehicle that can not only get us up into orbit, get us to the moon and beyond. Uh, it's built to be uh, a, uh, well, let's see, I guess about a, a two part, um, well, maybe all well, three part. Two part, anyways. Uh, Space station slash command module slash lander slash rover. As you can see, it's got wheels. You can explore. But anyway, so uh, let's fire this puppy up. The beginning checks we got to do. I will be using MechJev to assist in the ascent, just to simplify things. This thing uh, is flyable, though it's difficult. Okay, we're going to throttle up. One of the things that MechJub won't do for you is the first stage, which is my jet stage, featuring 24 jet engines. Anyway, so uh, enough of the gabbing. Let's get it going here. Lift off in three. Well, it's not really a lift off. Uh, you'll see. does not know what to do, which is kind of a good thing, because you got to let the jet engine warm up, so let the fuel tick down ways, it's it about five ticks or so, it's two, Liftoff. Now that's a sight, isn't it? Lifting off. This rocket is kind of a culmination of the many things I've learned playing the Kerbal Space Program over the past year or so. Got uh, lots to talk about. The things, well, first thing you notice, of course, is that I'm using jet engines. Solely jet engines for the first stage. This should get me up to about 18,000 meters this long. Air power every three engines has uh, one tank of jet fuel. Uh, as you see, I've got five intakes per per engine uh, nest, if you will. You see on the inner part, I've got some nuclear engines. So I'll be uh, kicking those in until after we jettison uh, jet engines. Uh, they are the most fuel efficient thing uh, you'll see. Uh, <laughs> after those are jettisoned, you'll see I have uh, an outer cluster of liquid engines utilizing the uh, spike toroidal spike engines. And I have those in kind of a double asparagus configuration. It's two layers. I kind of want to call it a flaming onion, or not flaming onion, it'd be a blooming onion as you kind of peel away the layers. But some people want to call it asparagus, so that's fine. You see, I've got some uh, radial engines on the outer layer. Uh, I had to do that primarily for control because the spike engines don't have the 
the gimbling. So I edit those out for gimbal to help control this thing. Because it starts getting kind of unwieldy here. It's a little jet engine sound. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the stats here. How are we doing? All the way up to uh, almost 4,000 meters already. It's not terribly fast. We're only going 74, 75 meters per second. It kind of takes its sweet time getting up to speed. That's okay, because it's very fuel efficient. In fact, we only even use uh, all the jet fuel time uh, we run out of air to run the things. So Switch over to our rocket engines. I might actually speed up this part between now and uh, 17,000 meters, just to this kind of goes on for a while. stood and stared at it, marveled at its beauty, its genius. Billions of people just living out their lives, oblivious. Okay, I'm back. Looks uh, like we're over 16,000 meters. Old Henry and Ronwell Kerman are looking a little concerned there, but... Uh, Jeb's away on another mission, so they're going to have to go. Okay, as soon as this thing ticks to 18,000 meters, things are going to start happening kind of quickly. i got to hit the space bar to release the jet engines. And away they go.
I actually was able to start it at one kilometer to start the turn, mainly because I had jet rockets flying and had plenty of fuel. So here, as well, uh, <laughs> go vertical and horizontal speed early on. We're going to take this guy up to 100 kilometers. Soon here we're gonna be coasting to the basically coasting to the Apple Apps and we will do our final circularizing burn. Uh, one thing I like to note about my program, the way this uh, ship is designed, um, I don't like to leave any space junk in space. So you're going to notice this last pair of tanks off the main tank are going to be released and they will fall back down to the surface of Kerbin. On the left here, that's an interesting one, but it's got that big space under the stage 6. You just click on the orange part where it's at 6. It's a little workaround. I'm sure they'll fix that eventually. tank at the moment. Alright, looks like we have a circularized orbit. So we can turn off scent guidance on the smart ASS. Let's go for it. Alright, let's have a look at what we got going on here. Yep, pretty close to a hundred. Very nicely circularized orbit. And there you have it for this episode. I just wanted to get this thing into orbit. Our next phase will be going to the moon. And we'll get to check out some more of the features of this incredible craft that I've devised. I'm having a lot of fun playing with this thing. It's got a lot of neat features. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I'll be able to touch on all of them in any one single uh, mission. But, uh, definitely going to the moon will be uh, getting ready to use the uh, rover aspect of this thing. So there you have it. Looks like the moon disappeared behind Kerbin. Oh, yeah, well, as you can see, uh, we have a lot of fuel left over. The 2880, we still have 2774, so it only spent a little over 100 units of liquid fuel out of our main tank. And then the upper stage, um, I put small tanks just above each of the uh, nuclear engines, so it should be full. It's full. 60, well, I think it's about 720 altogether on the lander stage. And, you know, I got some RCS, I got wheels, I got parachutes, docking ports. This thing is ready for exploring. But anyways, uh, that's what we got for now. Thanks for joining me. And I'll start up another video when I go to the next phase, which will be going to the moon. Again, thank you for joining me. This is Kerbal Space Program. Happy flying!